What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. You are catching me at a time where I am freaking out guys. Freaking out. Okay, so let me tell you why I'm freaking out. You probably already know by the title of this video, but today's my first time going live. So, what does that mean, Sophie? I thought you already were on live TV. No. I mean, I was. The, my, my video, my report showed on live television, but I wasn't live. As in, I had recorded that previously and I just sent it in. This time, I'm going to be live as in... Sophie is at the University of Illinois telling us how students are getting back to campus and that's gonna go straight to me and I'm here at the university It's like, thank you, Sean. I am here at the university doing this this, and that so you know what I mean like that stereotypical thing so That's what's happening. What does that mean? That means I can't mess up. Maybe I do maybe I don't but point is It's like live television. So even if I do myself, I have to fi like figure it out I've never been live in my entire life not even in college and there was opportunities to go live. I was just always so scared. So now this is the real world. I'm high key, high key freaking out. But it's okay. God's got me. I know I'm gonna get it done and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good. It's gonna be okay and I'm gonna kill that live shot. So right, basically what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to the University of Illinois and we're getting film of the students moving back in. Hopefully talk to some parents, talk to some students, hopefully talk to an official about like, what the university is doing to help students move back in and all that good stuff because as we all know this is an unprecedented year because of COVID-19 so um it's just you no, know, we're gonna get that input and get that story across and uh, I think I got it down of what I kind of need to figure out when I need to research on my own but doesn't make it any more less nerve-wracking when I'm really nervous about just going live because I've never done that before this is once in a lifetime this is my first live shot I only get one first time so Breathe. I can do this. I can do this. FYI, I was wearing a different shirt, and then as I started to record this, I realized that the pit stains were just not okay because I'm already so nervous. Everyone, whoa, that's not good. And I'm gonna be even more nervous out in the heat, so I was like, let me not wear a shirt that you can see my pit stains. So these are good, you don't see pit stains, and that's okay. All right, so we're in the car. This is Matt. He's a photog. Say hi, Matt. Hello. And we're on our way to the university. Well, we're actually like on university grounds, and we're looking for frat houses to get videos of, and then we're gonna get video of uh, parents and students moving in, and then set up for the live shot, and hopefully send everything in on time, and, uh, and everything goes well. Okay. Wish us luck. Goodbye. All right, guys. So we're here. I'm right in front of the building where I'm gonna go live. Matt setting up the camera right now and I'm so freaking nervous. I'm so freaking nervous. Oh, and the sun is perfect. Okay. Um, and so basically I just, I don't even know what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna see this in three seconds probably what, what actually happened. So wish me luck. Ah! We're moving on to campus. WAND's Sophia Espinosa as she is live at the U of I tonight. Sophia, how is the university preparing for this semester? Yeah, Don, usually students just have to worry about finding their way around campus and keeping up with their schoolwork. But this year, they have a lot more on their plates. Students will have to start to get tested for COVID-19 twice a week. And the university is encouraging everyone on campus to download the Safer Illinois app. The app will allow students to view their test results, testing locations, and other information to help manage COVID-19 during the fall semester. I talked with the Chancellor for Student Affairs, who says the U of I has some of the strictest precautions in the country. The quickest way to show that you are uh, qualified to go into a building, that you have been tested and you um, are in good standing with your testing and you have no positive test. So we have one of the best plans in place of any university in the nation. I'm really proud to say that. Uh, we have a very layered approach that's science-based, data-based. As students check into their dorms, they must complete a COVID-19 test, and then they receive a back-to-campus kit, which includes face coverings, hand sanitizer, wipes, thermometer, and a clean key. The university is only allowing two people to help students move in to avoid crowds. And the university is partnering up with the Champaign-Urbana Public Health District to make sure that the semester runs as smoothly and as safely as possible. Coming up tonight at 6, I speak to a parent and a student about how they feel starting college in the middle of a pandemic. 
For now, live in Champaign, I'm Sofia Espinosa, WAND News. I did it, I did the 5 p.m. and now we have about an hour to chill out and then I'm gonna do it again, so, sort of similar, but not really, but it's the next live shot. Um, it's gonna be live as well and you guys just saw that one. So now I'm gonna do the six o'clock, which is coming up now. WAND's Sofia Espinosa joins us live now. You have been on campus all day. How do students and parents feel about heading back to college during a pandemic? Don, I spoke to several students as they moved in who are so excited to start this new chapter in their lives, but it does come with some nerves. And for Greek housing, the university says that all fraternities and sororities can open back up as long as they follow the safety guidelines put forward by the CDC. Live from Champaign, I'm Sofia Espinosa, WAND News. New All right, guys, I'm here editing this and just wanted to close it off by saying thank you again for watching this video. It means a lot to me. And I'm proud of myself. I know I could have done better, but it's okay because every time I'm going to improve a little bit more. But for it being my first live shots, um, I think I did pretty dang well. So I'm happy and I'm proud of myself. And uh, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with anyone that you'd like to share with. And that's it. Bye, guys.